To record your Zoom meeting, you just need to click on this record button down here. But before you do that, you want to make sure you set the location the file will save to once you're done. So to do that, we just go up to the Zoom menu at the top left of the screen here, go down to Preferences, and then go down to Recording. Right here, you can set the location the file is going to save to when it's done processing. I've already set mine to be the desktop, but if you click on this little drop down menu, you can choose whatever location you'd like. You could also check this box that says choose a location to save the recording to after the meeting ends. Either way, you just want to make sure you know where the file is going to be uh, later on. So now if I click on record, it gives me two options, record on this computer or record to the cloud. You want to pick record on this computer. That's what we just set up. Do not pick record to the cloud. Make sure you're recording the file and it's saving to your computer. So if I click there, it starts recording up here in the top left corner. I've got a pause button and a stop recording button. Now if I start my meeting and I'm going to do a slide presentation or share my screen, if I click on share screen and then select the window that I want. Now the, the toolbar moves to the top of the screen. You can still tell it's recording because there's a very small light right here. And then I can run my presentation as I normally would. Now I'm going to pretend that I'm done. I'm going to click stop share. And then if I hit stop right here on the recording, I'll get a little dialogue that tells me the recorded file will be converted to MP4 when the meeting ends. MP4 just means the video file that's going to be saved. So to stop my recording and stop my meeting, I'm going to click on end meeting. And then I'm going to click on end meeting for all. And now I'm going to get a little dialogue here that says converting meeting to recording. And that's now that's again, that's saving to where we set it up earlier. There's a couple files here. The one you want is the zoom.mp4. You also have the audio only of your presentation uh, if you needed that. But right now I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to name it something. Be sure to name it right away because they're just going to be called Zoom 1, Zoom 2, Zoom 3, Zoom 4. So give that recording a name. So now we want to take this recording and get it into our Canvas course. So I'm going to go over to canvas.umn.edu. I'm going to select the course that I want to upload that recording to. And then I'm going to scroll down to My Media. So the first time you click on My Media, you're going to see this window. Kaltura is the program that we're using to upload everything to Canvas, and I'm just going to click Authorize right here. Now I'm just going to go over to here and click Add New, and then Upload New Media. So in this window, I can either drag and drop the file, or I can choose a file to upload. I'm just going to drag and drop my file that we named earlier. And this will take a while to process depending on how big your file is. Once the upload is completed, just scroll down and you can enter a different name here. You can put a description in. By default, this recording is set to private. It has to finish uploading after this in order for you to set it to published, which is what you want to do eventually because you want people to be able to see it. So right now I'm going to click on save. Now your recording is completely finished uploading. It's set to private though. This is where you can select the published option and then pick the course that you want to publish it in. Then scroll to the bottom of the screen and click save. Now I'm going to click on home. So now you just want to insert this video into one of these menu options that gives you the rich content editor, like an assignment or a page or a discussion. I'm just going to do a page. So I'm going to add a page. I'm going to give this a title. And then you want to click on the embed Kaltura media icon. So this list will show everything that you've recorded. I've just done the one. I'm going to click embed. And then here's my video. Once I'm done editing this, I can click save and publish. And now here's the video, it's all ready to play back. And you can do the same process for any of the menu items that have the rich content editor.